Hi, I'm Dweezil Zappa, and in this lesson, I'm going to talk about symmetrical pairings on different strings. And to get an idea of how this can be useful, you really want to just start thinking about what the guitar is going to look like so you can uh, see these shapes better. And so, for example, if you're having a diminished sound, and instead of it sounding like the traditional thing where it's like... Or... You want to recognize that there are some major triads that are possible in the diminished scale. So let's say we're starting with A major. If you move it in minor thirds, you have a sound that you can create there. So knowing that that's kind of the tonality that we're looking at, there are a few pretty cool shapes that you can do that outline that sound. Not very specifically that specific triad sound, but you'll get the idea in a minute here. So if we're looking at that as our home base kind of sound, we're going to do something here where just the G string and the E string are the sounds that we're going to deal with. So here's, here's one cool combination of two shapes that you can do and then move them a minor third apart, just like I was showing you with the major triad. So again, that looked like this. But now, check this out. We're going to do... And then the same shape on the E string. So on the G string to the E string, it's exactly symmetrical. Which means you could play it together. You could do any combination. So you should work on the different combinations, right? That's one shape. Here's the next one. That's more of like the pentatonic kind of feel. But together, right? That's one set of two shapes. And here's the tricky part. You take those two shapes that are symmetrical, and if you started here on C, your next position is three frets up, so you're here on this E flat, right? So you're gonna be starting that same thing instead of, now you're, and you move the same thing up again. If you started here, you go up three more notes, and try practicing again, up three more notes, and then you are back where you started and you get this, this sound. So it has this, this kind of um, sound when you go all the way up the neck. And you can resolve back to the A there. So, but the thing is you can try that out. That's basically doing the half whole kind of thing. Half step, whole, and then you have another half step, whole, half step, whole, half step, whole, half step, whole. So. So that idea right there is useful because you can start breaking out of the box of pentatonic sounds and you can, you can use this kind of thing. Let's say you had a static kind of sound that was in A. So... You can break, break up these patterns. You can do all kinds of different things. get some cool sounds out of it. So this is the way to start branching out and start visualizing two strings, different string pairs, and, and see the symmetrical things that you can do. <laughs> there you go. Check it out.